Yes, I am available. I just on my screen of, is visible. Yeah, your screen is visible, sir. Okay. And uh, on behalf of Concrete Engineers and NS Arcus, I welcome everyone to today's Tech Talk. And today we have a very interesting subject. KYC, know your concrete using this maturity method. So we'll be learning about the uh, maturity method, how to uh, investigate the concrete from outside itself. So in detail, uh, our learned speakers will be telling us. And uh, about sir, I would like to introduce sir, uh, engineer Suresh. Tripathi has 36 years of rich experience in greenfield and brownfield projects, including nine years of special focus on precast technology manufacturing, business development expert in execution of projects, expert in construction technologies, and special knowledge of structural health monitoring, which is uh, related to today's topic. And, uh, sir, uh, is ha is having a number of uh, uh, accolades on his name so and our second speaker today will be dr, dr. Dr. Donde, who is uh, the inventor of uh, the technique which is being shown today so he has he did his be in civil in the year 1997 and uh, he has also got uh, more than 26 years of experience so no, not taking much time i would request uh, sir to please uh, start the presentation and about concrete engineers association we'll be showing uh, some video in the last so okay. please sir uh, you can start the presentation yeah thank you uh, mr singh for giving me opportunity to speak on this august forum regarding uh, uh, and i'm very happy to come here on this forum because this is especially for the concrete engineers so and i'm also thankful to the uh, ns Arcus for giving us opportunity to uh, spread this knowledge see as the name suggests here know your concrete using maturity meters so do you really know our concrete and what are or uh, how do we know this concrete that matters this is the question which i want to ask to everyone how well we know the concrete so the concrete the quality of the concrete is to uh, uh, it is like knowing your concrete and with confidence concrete is our base material basically in any of the construction and quality control of the concrete is to assure performance at all level and at all time to know and act upon with reliability and how to capture the performance it is basically considering of three important parameters that is material product and system and what we desire is strength stiffness service safety and sustainability and for this the instrumentation which we use for testing monitoring and integration and in this the methods are sensors data devices and communication and analytics so we uh, i'm bringing here wise technology which is comprising of industry 4.0 or it is basically a mixture of electronics and civil. So uh, we have coined term as a civionics. So when we come to the quality 4.0, which is also a mandate of the industry, is to automate the process. And another thing is that faster delivery, the system should be self-diagnosing and self-healing, in-process quality enablement, and optimized operating model. So how do we, uh, this is just a slide to just show that uh, this is a sensors and the box which is there with which we do uh, find the uh, 
uh, on the green concrete. And people ask whether it is mentioned in codes. Yes, it has to mentioned in the code of ASTMC 1074, IS 456, IS 16700, IS 4926, IRC 112, ACI 228.1R, and ASTMC 1. Uh, 1753. So, coming to the history of concrete, concrete is a man made material combining cement with aggregate and water to produce a material that looks like stone. It has been in Egypt 3000 BC, used gypsum mortar. This is the history which I think all concrete engineers know. Roman used the pyramid form of concrete about 2000 years ago. Coming to 1756, uh, John Smithon made the first modern day concrete. 1824, Joseph Epstein invented Portland cement by burning grounded chalk and clay and clinker. 1854, William Epstein invented modern day Portland. Edison experiment with concrete. Mold concrete in variety of shapes to build houses by pouring concrete in a single giant model. Not only like house, everything from bathtub, window sill, staircase, and picture frame to electrical conduits and reinforced rod fully molded. This is reality and prefab and tilt up construction. Concrete house in New Jersey, 911. First monolithic concrete then mold form concrete in wide applications. What is concrete? Concrete, as you all know, that 12% is cement by weight, 8% water, 80% aggregate. Now coming to the chemical side of it, that is major compound in the cement clinker, tricalcium silicate, C3S, Dicalcium silicate C2S, tricalcium aluminate C3A, tetracalcium aluminate ferrite C4AF. All these contribute to the it's Bogue's chemical. So C3S at 54%, C2S with 17%, C3A 11%, C4A 4 9%. It's a complex uh, chemistry. Uh, Heterogeneity, that is transition zone, and viscoplastic concrete, non-linear stress strain curve. So C3A plus gypsum, C2SO4, gives to retard flash setting of C3A and gypsum solubility effect to the superplasticized comparability. It also sends in flash, false setting, lower slump, lower slump retention, and unstable. Here, when we do the temperature versus time graphing, so there are peaks in that. There are three peaks. One is at C3A level. When you compare it with the time with temperature, uh, temperature with time when you do the graphing, then C3S is the second peak, and C2S is the third peak. So at second peak, there is set, no set, strength gain. Is that C2S? I'll be taking questions at the last. If anybody is having, they can put on the chat box also. We can reply back. So, coming to it, all know concrete is mysterious. As Professor Shetty used to say, it is enigmatic also, how it behaves. But we want to predict concrete with confidence. Confidence building is one of our key aim. So that's why we term it as concrete with confidence. And why we need this process, that is CPM, CPCMM as. So uh, there is a problem which is awaiting is disaster, disasters, wait time, rework, and fear. Okay, these are the one in construction and concrete maturity monitors 
uh, and for resilient high rise built spaces. With the experience which we have got, we save around 10 to 20 percent money saved, 10 to 40 percent time saved, 10 to 30 percent labor saved, and reliability and confidence is 100 percent. So this is what we bring in when we say that, yes, adopt maturity meters in your construction. Now, coming to why actually we have been doing, we have been filling queues, we have been testing, why now we want this? In concrete construction, QC and crucial uh, and crucial side decisions are taken based on concrete cubes, cube test, which are which I uh, which we have been relying till date, and that is the tradition which we are following. But in actual, it is unreliable, laborious, and time demanding, and also gives a lot of what we call uh, a pressure on the the engineer out there at the site to do to do the inference and inference is not backed by a scientific vertical basis so tradition cube needs skill labor human intervention human intervention is is understanding of the concrete is required it is also unreliable resource Resources, man, uh, material, time, and labor intensive. It is expensive. Also, it is manipulative. As a owner, when you take into consideration, it is also, it is you. It can be manipulated. But uh, so those who are looking for a good quality, so they have to understand that their things should be transparent. Working should be transparent. And uh, and it is not also sus uh, sustainable so it in this a lot of wastages are produced we have to do the uh, destructive testing we have to break the concrete and know the things know the strength then only we are actually knowing what is the strength the result is deficient and inefficient construction with cost overruns delays in project unsafe construction even sometimes delays in rework fraud and mismanagement what maturity systems bring in is reliable, continuous, automated, and affordable. Quality monitoring is mechanism of placed concrete in construction. You have to be where well, the caption here is be aware or beware. Practice carefully. And you all, everyone knows that cubes do not indicate in place strength of the concrete cube indicates only the quality and the class of the concrete mixed or prepared at batching plant now there has been premature failures pre modes 40 cube strength parameter on which cube strength of the concrete depends is age the blended cement concrete in this slow strength is a slow strength development size of cube higher the size is the, uh, the less the lower the strength shape cube or cylinder versus shape of the rcc member cube strength is 1.25 into cylinder strength mold material and the texture of the mold how the compaction has been done in the uh, in the cube layers number of blows die of the compaction rod what was the curing temperature from minus 27 degree to plus uh, it is uh, plus minus 2 degree 27 degree it's not minus 27 degree or plus minus 2 degree curing period 28 days of cube site 10 days of for opc 15 days for blended moisture condition at the time of testing that is ssd Air dried cube yields 22 to 25 percent more strength. Type of compression testing machine, rocker or roller plate. Direction of direction of casting. Direction of testing. Rate of loading. That is when you are testing. It is 140 kg per square centimeter per min, minute, or it is at the rate of 315 kn per minute. Does the cube fail in really? in real axial compression so you get plus 
minus 20 to 100 percent so this becomes a very large bandwidth when we are getting the strength like when you're coming when you're testing the cubes the location 70 to 80 percent is the wrong testing premature failure modes when you see these are practical issues which i'm trying to which i have encountered at the thing nothing new which i'm telling but it's only for the awareness you know, i'm telling there is explosive failure this is the one of the right methods when you see that there, there are different type of failures this is these are all tensile cracks or some failures which doesn't represent the right strength now when you see bis sp23 clause 8.7 page 140, uh, 141, it clearly says, other limitation of the result of test on 28 days cube assessment is that even when cured under controlled conditions of temperature and humidity, it does not indicate the actual compressive strength of the concrete in the structure. So strength is different. Then how do you rely it? And so, 50 to 50, 80 percent of the cube strength we are assuming and then designing our structures. And the, co and the concrete strength, all these things are like age, ingredient, curing, exposure, season, mass volume, shape and geometry gives total mix, gives the strength and energy. Now, Clause uh, IS 456 clause 10 1.2 QA audit and QC. That is, QA is a plan, QC is a testing. Inputs may concrete production, material, workmanship at, at batching, batching, mixing, transportation, placing, compaction, curing. At plant is the machinery, tools, and equipments. And output, we are doing concrete in place, that is NDT and field cure. So NDT, may you are testing with uh, this uh, rebound hammer test, or you are to, or non-destructive, may you are having this UPVC method. And green, when it is green, you have you have only one thing, that is maturity. Now, concrete strength, as I have already reiterated, not of placed concrete, but and it is for the placed, it is not of the in situ concrete when you are doing the cube test. It doesn't, uh, it is a characteristic potential strength of the quality of the mixed concrete. So, conclusion which I say, we know lab cure specimen do not account for temperature of in place concrete. We need something more appropriate. We want to estimate the in-place concrete strength without relying absolutely on the lab specimen. Research are available. Concrete strength is a function of time and temperature. Now coming to this one, concrete with the uh, I'm mentor of this company that is CPRO, and in which Dr. Heyman is the patent holder, and he is the one who invented it when he was doing researching in US, doing his master's. And he brought this technology. See, as such, if you ask me, this technology is available in India, but it is imported. A few other companies are there from uh, uh, Israel, from uh, Canada, from UK, they are there. but. Our main motto was to make the things affordable. And here, what Indian conditions and, and the graphs and all has to also cater to the Indian condition. Indian conditions are completely different than what we find in US or Canada or other places. So we wanted to, we, our algorithms and other things are based on our serious research out there in this field. And in this, you can just see the components. 
we have a four point and the sensors. Sensors are also reusable also and sacrificial also. We and depending upon the situation, you have to plan the things and do. Here I would invite Dr. Hemant to go further in this. Hemant, are you there? Yes. Yes, Sri Patiji, thank you for allowing me to pitch in. Yes. Uh, would you be able to change the slide upon my request? Yes. Possible? Yes, I will do. You can ask Appreciate me to change. It. Excellent. Thank you. So here we start with the background, the, the technology that we need to continuously in real time monitor the quality and performance of placed concrete in the structure. That too, at all levels, that is starting from its fresh or green state to its hardened state. May it be in one day, three day, four day, or even years, three years, four years for especially mass concreting in dams. So all this regime is captured by autonomous, intelligent, I would say wise technologies that are available in the market and are continuously developed every month. You'll see advancement in Industry 4.0 and such civionics that enable the concreting engineers, specialists, to base their decisions, those are critical decisions, timely decisions, effective decisions, on reliable information that is gathered and conveyed by this equipment or the system. So one of that system, which has been established for the past 50 years around the world, is the concrete maturity meter system. And it's based on one of the most rational principles of science and engineering and that is energy measurement so maturity method is based on capturing the hydration energy continuously of the placed concrete and correlating that energy with multiple parameters not only strength stiffness durability aspects but also secondary and tertiary performance criteria that i will entail later on so here we have concrete construction, real-time proven non-restrictive testing. Uh, the maturity methods are smart, automated, uh, very less human intervention is required so that it brings reliability, less errors, less mistakes. It also ensures uh, insurance against faulty cube test or faulty specimen test. And overall, what is important, it saves resources. That is very key parameter that is we are all looking for. So what this system gives us is high reliability through automation. And most importantly for engineers and structural engineers that we have concreting suppliers, uh, clients, and all the stakeholders in concreting world, it eliminates fear factor. So whatever eliminates fear factor, that we have currently in traditional methods is going to be the spear head of the technology. So we see that uh, currently we are in the ex uh, awareness stage in India about this technology. We are moving towards slightly towards acceptance. And probably in a couple of years, we'll see adherence stage where this technology is uh, accepted not only in private sector, but government sector. Uh, as of today, I know a lot of tenders by government of India have been uh, in, uh, including maturity methods as one of their uh, key entities. Uh, so know your concrete is the app title for this talk today. Let's know our concrete better continuously throughout its regime. So to ensure quality and uh, paisa vasul of that particular place concrete. Concrete strength depends on several factors. So the cubes in the lab uh, that are tested in the lab, casted in the lab, cured in the lab, do not reflect all of these parameters. For example, yeah, changes in ingredients are not. This, I, this I covered. This I yes, covered. Yes. I'll, just uh, come I'll go forward. Yeah. Yes. If we go to the basic, how this hydration energy comes out, it's through the activation or hydration process of the Bogues compound in the cement. 
So cement reacts with water and liberates energy. This energy is huge and it continues to liberate energy even for years. The rate changes or slows down, but this is the principle of maturity method. So hydration releases heat, that is enthalpy of the concrete. It correlates very well to the strain. So higher the maturity at any given time, which is the energy of the concrete, higher is the expected strength for a given mix at a given point. This is the maturity principle. It's been proven and used worldwide. Next, please. So what is maturity? We'll see how, what is maturity. Next slide, please. In brief, I'll explain to you in very clear-cut example. If I take a mix and cast a 3.5 liter cube uh, in the lab, a curator in the lab, and same mix, I take it to a slab in actual structure. So it is thousands of liters. So the volume difference is huge. Curing conditions are definitely different. So what we call is an in situ condition. Now, if I uh, put a sensor in this temperature sensor to monitor the maturity or the temperature graph, you can see this uh, example at the bottom. The graph at the uh, in situ concrete will take lesser time to achieve a particular maturity, that is energy and strength. The same maturity, to reach the same maturity, the cube will take larger time. That's generally observed because of the lesser curing conditions, lower curing conditions in temperature and time. So what we have here is the principle that if a mix shows same maturity, its strength has to be same irrespective of curing or time. So this is the principle of maturity, same maturity, same strength. So once we monitor the maturity, of a placed concrete, we can very well establish it or estimate with reliability its real time strength. Every one minute at, and on your phone, the message will be given or shown directly at the tips of your hand. Next, please. So, maturity is nothing but the energy of hydrating concrete, which we call maturity index for a given mix, and it correlates to strength. It's one of the only method in industry throughout the world that monitors maturity of the concrete and strength and performance characters of the concrete right from fresh to hardened state. Next, please. Now, for example, if I uh, put uh, my maturity meter in the structure and monitor also its cube strength and field cube strength, what we observe is normal weather concreting. We'll see that we, we can save a lot of time in construction cycle. For example, if I want to, I'm aiming for M30 uh, for taking my decision. It is inevitable that in normal weather, the maturity of the concrete in the structure will, uh, and the strength uh, will get more faster than in lab cured or field cured space. Thus, I can save a vital time, two, three days for a particular operation easily. So this is the benefit of knowing real-time strength of, of your concrete. Next, please. Another example I'll give you. In hot climate, hot weather, and cold weather concreting, this maturity method gives us a very reliable information. Uh, in hot weather, typically, it will save us time because your strength in the concrete structure itself will gain more uh, faster than in lab and field cure samples so that we can save time. There's a potential to save time. But however, in cold weather concrete, uh, the next slide, please. In cold weather concreting, the lab cure specimens will show typically higher strengths than field in field and uh, in structure concrete because of the colder uh, curing conditions in the structure. And these are unsafe conditions because if we take decisions based on cube tests, there is a chance of failure or premature cracking or failure of the uh, structure. Hence. Maturity method have been proven vital in both extreme weather concreting, that is hot and cold weather concreting as uh, throughout the world. Next, please. You must be noting that the maturity index unit is in energy, though it is not dual. It is an indirect uh, empirical unit, which is called degree Celsius hours or degree Celsius days. Now, here is the cement hydration, which is a symphony 
that or an orchestra that occurs in OPC concrete. In typical OPC concrete, first, as explained by Tripathi ji, you'll see three peaks. If you don't see these three peaks, just like an ECG of the concrete, like a patient in ICU, continuously the doctor monitors the heartbeats and everything. Similarly, a concrete technologist can, or an engineer can monitor the, keep an eye on the uh, thermal profile of the concrete as it hydrates for a couple of days, for the first three, seven days. That gives us the confidence indication whether your concrete is behaving normally or abnormally. So I've seen, I've shown here a concrete that behaves uh, good behavior or expected behavior and a concrete that might be a bad behavior or incompatible behavior, which is shown by this uh, subdued peaks or flat curves. So that is a very good indication. None of the methods in concrete testing provides you this kind of input on your mobile phone uh, every minute, wherever you're in the world and wherever your concrete is going on. So this is the beauty of Civionics, Industry 4.0C and Quality 4.0 in concrete. Next, please. So in olden days or even today, we uh, we know that uh, it's been said that uh, keep uh, uh, care of take care of your concrete for the first three days, just like a newborn baby. Now, why is that? Because within the three days, most of the activation or the orchestra or the symphony of hydration process of the Bogues compound in your normal OPC concrete occurs, as is seen in the graph, and it contributes to strength and stability, durability of the concrete. So this first three days, taking care of your concrete is vital. That's what this graph shows and can be captured very well with natural methods. Next, please. So overall quality 4.0, it's a holistic quality control system or mechanism that brings confidence. Next, please. These are some potential uses of uh, the maturity methods or meters at various different levels in wherever concrete is used. Now, mind you, let me pinpoint a very important factor here. A uh, concrete maturity meter is basically a calorimeter. So it can be used very effectively, not only in concrete, but also other materials in construction or allied industries that exhibits exothermic or endothermic rates. For example, mortars, cement paste, paints, varnishes, uh, medicines, uh, then you can uh, have asphalts, but bitumen, and so on. Here, I'm just going to talk about concrete for that. So the uses are, we can monitor continuously in real time automated strength monitoring of the placed concrete. Now, when I say strength, it comprises of all types of strength. Compressive strength, tensile strength, indirect tensile strength, shear strength, torsional strength. Whatever you can correlate, you can monitor effectively depending on the use condition. Most importantly, you can also monitor continuously stiffness of the concrete, that is Young's modulus EC. You can also monitor other secondary stiffnesses such as creep, shrinkage, and other such modulus that are vital for structural aspects and performance reliability. Of course, you can monitor temperatures which are vital in mass concreting and hot weather or cold weather concreting where temperature control concrete is to be monitored. Setting times is one of the aspects that we do not really have any equipment to uh, measure of, of the in situ concrete. Uh, the equipment is very cumbersome. So this method, this meter gives you in the same go, the indication of whether your concrete that is placed and monitored by the meter, it has started to set. So IST, FST is also given by this uh, meters. Safe construction is ensured. Fresh to solid state QC is in, uh, enabled. Stability of the mix is uh, ensured. Most importantly, batch variation is also captured uh, um, uh, with this system. Uh, from one batch to another batch, if your concrete varies, this is very well captured with the system. Creep shrinkage and other secondary tertiary effects are also correlated and can be monitored continuously. Durability performance such as permeability, chloride penetration, uh, porosity can also be correlated with this equipment. So it helps you to take multifunctional key decisions based on monitoring multifunctional aspects of the placed concrete. Decisions that are critical and time dependent 
such as deshuttering, deshoring, stripping, uh, construction cycle, cube testing, release of post tension or pre stressing, curing regimes such as um, uh, keeping an eye on curing regimes or uh, optimizing steam curing, lifting of the elements, uh, allowing for load regimes or load uh, loading and a general long-term structural health monitoring process. What are these are all the uses in substructure you can use it, in superstructure, in auxiliary structure, and other uses. For example, in substructure, you can use okay. this system. For, uh, can you take it back? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can use it in rafts, piles, footings, or buried elements that are made up of concrete. Superstructure, so many elements you can monitor based on the voice of client, what you want to monitor, where you want to monitor. You can monitor even the uh, auxiliary structures, uh, such as anchorage systems, embedments, uh, uh, mortars, and so on, even for repair mortars and underwater repairs. The other uses uh, or applications where you can use maturity method to effective use is to optimize your mix uh, proportions. Uh, soon we will have a mix design based on maturity principles uh, that's coming up uh, soon. Optimal curing can be maintained, grouts uh, can be characterized and uh, continuously monitored, and it gives you advantage to RMC players and general QA queues. Next, please. I think there was one, somebody had put a hand, uh, Mr. Oh. Sumit. So, Mr. Sumit, do you uh, want to speak anything? You can. I'll be take some questions, sir. I'll I'll take it in the end. Sorry. Okay. Excellent. No okay. problem. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank okay. Sorry. Yeah. So I'll yeah. continue. So these are some advantages yeah. of the system. Uh, it's a enhanced CADA, basically. It will help you remotely and automatically monitor concrete performance right at the tips of your hand. It's a continuous entity. It detects uh, various aspects that I have discussed before, um, and on the go temperature monitoring. It also gives you return on investment, high return on and quick in return on investment, saves rework, uh, take effective and timely decisions, monitor special concrete such as masked concrete, high performance, ultra high performance concrete, uh, self healing concrete, carbon dioxide, gas infused concrete, you name it. Um, it can save tremendous amount of uh, resources, uh, significant amount of resources. Most importantly, it can reduce or eliminate cube tests or also uh, and also contribute to as an insurance against faulty cube tests because you will know when to test and uh, the cubes also it can detect curing abnormalities and ensure quality of curing uh, detect timely activation of box compound and help you take interventions timely and effective interventions next please these are the various aspects government private defense sectors where we can use it for various uh, structural elements or regimes. The key advantage is to provide smart concrete to clients, reduction and uh, elimination of cube test. It's a low skill to high tech solution. Remember, our cube test, traditional cube test or cylinder test are uh, wasted on high skill, low technology. Now, this technology that we are relying on, our uh, future technology is same thing these are the various operations that can next please so the product or the any maturity method or meters mostly give you affordability, reliability, and reusability of uh, equipment that ensures high return and quick return on investment. There are other aspects that are written here, but I will not waste time on that. Next, please. So how do electronics sensors? Yes, sir, go ahead, please. Uh, this, this is the way how to calculate how much is required. Thing. Yeah, Ahmed, please continue. Yes, at the top, uh, a general thumb rule is given one meter consisting of four thousand square monitoring or 
roughly two, uh, 200 cubic meters of concrete. Just to give you a brief and you get an uh, indication of the performance of these common indicators on mobile phones. Also on the system is very important because everything needs to work together in syncing. Digital sensors, cloudware, firmware, uh, AI, blue analytics, the battery system, and most importantly, the robustness of the meter and sensor itself is IP68 grade or semi grade and certified. All system has to be in Indian conditions. Uh, unlike uh, foreign uh, brands, uh, uh, our system brings no. It's okay. Our system brings robustness and uh, ruggedness of the equipment, and also the reliability of the analytics. Next, please. Why we need these maturity methods or meters is because we need to capture and use. Uh, Civionics, continuous monitoring of the concrete is vital, and it is as per the course. The meters are rugged. Yeah, it is, it is, it is basically, it is basically reusable meters and sensors. Correct. More than you can use one meter for more than two hundred times. Sensors and sensors can be replaced. Sensors are uh, the cost is very frugal, and uh, it it is hardly. 20% of what you get from the uh, the these meters from the abroad and and uh, yeah. as such uh, since it is a make in india pro uh, solution so a lot of localization has been done in this so that client can get higher roi and faster and higher within their few uses it's yeah uh, hemant you can just start this i'll continue uh, typically, yeah. this maturity method, any meter uh, you take, works on uh, these two phases. First is you have to calibrate a particular mix for its energy to strength relation. So pre-establishing this calibration for any mix before using it, the meters in the structure is vital. You can do it before few days of casting or few months of casting. Whenever you are doing your optimization of the mix at the lab, you can establish this uh, calibration for given mixes. This is important. The calibration needs to be done. Of course, mind you, this is not the calibration of the electronics or the meter. It is the calibration of the mix. For example, in your project, if you want to monitor the slab or uh, 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 vital elements, structural elements like the transfer girder, rafts, and so on, each mix will be different. So you have to pre establish uh, the calibration of these mixes before using it in the structure. So it consists of a methodology where you cast the traditional test, a cube, a cube test or cylinder test specimens and test it uh, by establishing their relation with their energy. Once that is established, the meter automatically grasps this uh, calibration and uses it in the actual structure when you place this meter in the structure or the sensor in the structure. So it's a fit and forget technology in the deployment stage. So these are the two simple steps. Sorry. Uh, of course, you can use the sensors again and again. Uh, you can go ahead, sir. You can use the sensors again and again as per ACI 228 uh, provision, wherein uh, internal and external pipes are uh, used, and the sensor is put in the internal pipe. And you can retrieve the sensor once uh, the use has been done and reuse it again and again. So our Meters and sensors have been used by LNT and other people for almost 150 times or almost two and a half years uh, as of date. So it's a very well proven technology. Let's go ahead. I think it's a repeat. So yes, in brief, it, this technology will help to, uh, to take timely critical decisions. The, the most important thing here is information or the data, which is gold nowadays, can be obtained with this technology anywhere, anytime to all the stakeholders at plant, site, and labs. So it's an integration of information can be available through integrated systems. Like you can integrate maturity meter system with your BIM, building information modeling, drones, your safety regimes, 
and also some softwares uh, at a higher rate. So this integration is going to come soon when you see this uh, latest technology being integrated and used at various levels in construction. Next, please. The impact of this solution is huge. These are some clauses by different codes pertaining to the maturity meter. It's just a glimpse of the uh, summary of the various clauses, but uh, extensive codes. Because people happening. ask, because people ask Correct. where it is written, how how it has to be used. So it Correct. is not new. It is very well mentioned in IS 456, clause number 17.8, that this system has to be, this prescribes this system. Yes. Even tall building also says that in tall building, the uh, use of temperature maturity is mandatory as per clause 5.7.1.2. This actually, it is lack of awareness also. Many people are not using. Exactly. So, so our so these function, uh, sorry, our, our main motto is to make people aware of this technology. That's why we started developing this technology. And also, you must be knowing that IRC 112 provides a very step by step, very detailed procedure for uh, maturity method. Uh, secondly, governments from Europe and developed countries like USA, Canada, they have been adopting this technology mandatorily as part of the specification. They have made it mandatory for concrete providers or contractors to use this method uh, instead of uh, traditional cylinder or tube test. So this has been done for the past 20 years. Now it's well established. Uh, latest case of London uh, expansion of the airport, there they completely avoided uh, tube testing. They only relied on maturity method. Currently, even LNT is in some of the signature projects, uh, they have completely stopped using tube tests. Uh, even Tata projects is going into that. So there are the steps, or we see this progressive adaptation, adoption of this technology. Next, please. <clears throat> These are some aspects of reliability, repeatability, reproducibility, and bias of this technology published in uh, international literature and codes. I've just summarized it here. Most important to have highlighted that maturity stands as one of the most accurate method among all the entities uh, and its reliability is high. The reliability of maturity method is very good in terms of resolution, accuracy, and measuring range. Next, please. These, These are, are some of the clients. clients and current users. I'll just speak about some use cases uh, 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 step if by we, step. If, if we have time, we can just go ahead. Uh, Mr. Singh. Can we uh, go yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Sure, sure. I'll okay. take about like 15 minutes about to case studies and all. Great, that. great. Appreciate. So these are some uh, cases where we have used our meters for the past uh, two and a half years. Next, please. Uh, sorry to disturb. Uh, yes. Good day. Yeah, I'm please. Not, go ahead. I'm not able to hear. Anyone ask, uh, Mr. Uh, Virupaksha to no, you are audible. Uh, on mute. Yes, I want to so, Virupaksha to put himself on mute. Thank you. Thank you. Look. Yeah. I'll yeah. continue please. with the please. case study here. Uh, maturity method has proven uh, in Pune where we used it for the first time, uh, where we were monitoring a PD slab and the mix was supposed to be M35 to be delivered M40 to be delivered on site. At 1 a.m., all the RMC trucks uh, were monitored, uh, not all, uh, randomly were monitored with the sensors uh, at the placement uh, in the PT slab. So we got a very good uh, performance curves from uh, all the trucks up to a, about 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, suddenly, we, uh, at 3 a.m., we got a very huge rise in the temperature of a particular batch of RMC truck delivered on site. So we stopped uh, the truck. We uh, stop the work and call the RMC player and they agreed that a wrong batch or diverted batch was sent uh, to the site uh, M70 concrete SCC was sent wrongly and this helped us this meter helped us to identify in real time within one uh, 15 20 minutes we could identify that something is wrong with our batch that was delivered and monitored so you can we could take interventions of curing it properly this particular la layer or pore of the PT slab. Uh, next, please. So batch variation can also be captured very effectively. 
this is another case where tunnel form work was used in pune um, just before covid and the target was 12 hours we need 12 mpa for the next cycle reshuttering and this meter saved around 6 hours uh, because of the real time real strength in the in situ or place concrete instead of relying on cube tests next please so here we saved around 6 hours for the uh, roughly uh, but effectively maybe 3 3 hours Okay. But uh, totally six hours or greater than six hours. Next, please. So tunnel formwork is a very uh, good aspect where the turnaround times are fast. So this system, maturity method, proves to be very uh, uh, high return on investment uh, where the re uh, construction cycles are fast. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another case at LIT. This, they were the first ones to buy our meters and use it at their Sidco uh, Ulwe site for uh, they are still using it for the past uh, two and a half years. Uh, they use it for precast two D and three D elements. Uh, actually, actually for the, precast, this is a boon because precast we require right. the forms to be released or the table to be freed, especially in optimized the cycle uh, time. Uh, optimized cycle time for the shuttering is and the sides and the tables, and especially also into the uh, pretensioned uh, what do you call right. the hollow core slabs also. So this gives us uh, more confidence when we uh, we distress the things or when, when we lift the being into precast industry from the last nine years i've been facing a lot of issues especially the uh, the reliability of the uh, this one strength so this gives us around near 20 percent time saving in this mm. yes. that is concrete construction time not the total project time. yes, yes. Uh, it is concrete, concrete construction, construction. Uh, all the savings are related to concrete construction cycle time right? uh, and resources, not the project. Uh, mind. Uh, secondly, I would like to reiterate it, uh, one thing that uh, 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 we are uh, one of the customized manufacturers of meters, one of the few in the world. Uh, for example, this LNT site, we, were, we will be supplying them customized meters for their bed, uh, precast beds that will be part and parcel of the formwork system and the bed system. With multiple sensors, not just four, but, uh, seven. Yes, uh, this is another case. Uh, if you can go back, sir, this is a signature case of Mission 96 Tower by LNT among the Sirco Towers, Sirco Construction Tower, where they used our meters starting from uh, ground level, uh, the ground up, the third level to 13th level, and completely eliminated cube tests. So all the decisions pertaining to the screed slab was taken by the meters. Uh, so we could reduce the cube testing by 80%. Uh, this was a signature application of BioLT. Next, please. This is uh, Shapurji Palanji Vana site in Pune, where they are currently using it, and also on another site. Next, please. We can we could save them almost uh, uh, substantial amount of cycle time for their traditional RCC slab construction. Next, please. These are some results, uh, some documentation and automation and some graphical inputs where we save the time. This is uh, mass concreting work at Burani Towers uh, in Mendi Bazar, Mumbai, latest case, where we first had monitored the mass concreting works of the raft of this uh, uh, tall uh, G plus 70 tower. Next, please. So you can see that yeah, the signature of mass concrete is typically only one peak, whereas the if you monitor the cube, which is the yellow line, you'll see the typical three peaks that you get for OPC concrete. However, in mass concrete, because of the confinement and enthalpy effect, the, the hydration energy is stored like an oven. And that results in one single mountain instead of three mountains. So all these activation of Bokes compound is clubbed or hidden in this one mountain. It's a very um, typical of confined concrete and also mass concrete. So this is a, how you can judge the thermal, based on the thermal profile that you get out of your concrete, you can judge the various aspects, the performance of the piece of concrete every minute. This is a wrap. So this is uh, the schedule, this is just a uh, schematics. Next, please. Sorry for the speed, uh, we have less time. So these are some typical graphs that we get out of the maturity uh, meter system, automated, of course. And you can do a reporting. Automated reports are also developed. And you can uh, check 
document uh, and check uh, in your quality system. Next, please. This is another Marwa graph case. that we monitor for Marwa Towers. Uh, same case, same thing we, uh, we got, uh, which is typical of mass concrete. Uh, difference between cube results and mass concrete results are huge. Uh, next, please, sir. <laughs> Is a G plus 14 yes, tower. Sorry. You can see the difference between cube test. Yeah, cube test results, uh, which is time versus temperature. The profile is different. You can see three distinct peaks of OPC concrete, whereas only one peak is seen. The strength difference is also uh, huge between a cube and uh, the actual structure, the raft. Next, please, as given by the meter. So, overall, this brings the confidence in your on the go uh, and in real time. Next, please. Here also you can just see when at different locations when you are doing a mass concrete, whether it is mid mid mm -hmm. core, core mid depth near to the core, or mid depth. So you can see yes. the, the variations of that uh, this one strength here, no? Near to the core yes. at 75 mm depth, and mid mid depth. So so the variations you can just see, and all this data will help also to analyze and maybe at a later date. Uh, optimization of the concrete also when when right. we take into consideration ai into effect and other things when we are doing automations to a higher level at present since with this data we can also uh, uh, give uh, way to the future researching in this section excellent another point i would like to add here uh, is if you see the graph on the right hand side which is the maturity index versus compressive strength of cube and the raft. You'll see that they're the same. This indicates that your concrete has not varied much beyond the standard deviation. This indicates the quality control level. So the closer they match, the higher is your quality, good quality. If they separate out, your quality or the, your batch has changed, your concrete mix has changed due to various reasons. So this is another indication of uh, that gives you confidence in your concreting work. Secondly, this very vari variation in various different levels uh, of monitoring of concrete in mass concrete in raft or any other structural elements such as a transfer girder or uh, piles is important because you have to take care of your maximum temperatures in concrete should not be reaching more than 70 degrees Celsius at any time. Also, the temperature differentials, the delta T uh, should not be more than 20 degrees or 19 degrees based on the specs. Also. The temperature rate of rise in temperature should not be more than two to three degrees per hour. So that these are the different uh, criteria that for mass concreting or temperature critical concrete, temperature control concrete that are vital to be monitored, and it can be effectively done by this system. Next, please. This is a very unique case in the world where maturity meters were used. Our maturity meters were used by uh, LNT in construction of uh, 15 BRO border road organization offices which were built by 3d printing and which is currently ongoing in mohali and uniquely our meters were used as you can see in the picture maybe it's not that visible but here are the sensors uh, placed within the layers and we were we are monitoring not only composite strain but also the bond strain between the layers so it's a very effective use of this technology to continuously monitor the bulging effects rheology not only the strain but also the rheology of the concrete itself uh, these are some photographs which is ongoing uh, at present. These are the upcoming cases where uh, our technology will be used in Dubai. Pesek or raft is used, uh, DLF. I think these are the future These are just some examples. Uh, ultimately, at the bottom, if you go next, please, sir. Yes, these are very signature projects. Latest for the past six months, we have been using these meters in uh, Pune Metro. Tata projects have been using it not just to monitor temperature. Uh, but uh, strengths, also stiffnesses and creep effects uh, for them, uh, stiffness critical or deflection critical cantilevers, peers, peer caps. Uh, so these are the three cases we use, a box segment, peer cap and PT girders. For uh, box segment, you used it for uh, monitoring continuous strength, composite strength. For peer cap, we use it for monitoring uh, strength, EC, that is stiffness, and creep uh, modulus. And for uh, others, we use it for monitoring strength as well as steam curing regime. These are some aspects, uh, details of the testing. Thanks, Next, yeah, this is too much. 
yeah m70 m80 concrete were used in the range of that for segment we place the sensors at critical regions next please distress re distress regions or uh, uh, cold regions these are some indication of the uh, enthalpy effect or mass effect in your segmental bridge segmental bridge precast element so surprisingly we could see the confinement effect here next please we could save them around 60 percent of their time the previous time so 14 hours to 37 hours can be saved using our uh, meters that was the in conclusion next now the uh, government is also thinking maha metro is uh, thinking of adopting this uh, the next projects and current projects this is these are the pt girders that we monitor for steam curing regimes uh, and to optimize the steam curing we were able to optimize the steam curing and monitor the mass effects in the eye girders. Uh, those were pre test. Uh, and we could save around three hours to six hours of steam curing regimes. Next, please. Next, PT please. Girders. Yes, for the post -station. Now, this is a very unique case that we uh, did for med, uh, Metro, uh, for Tata projects, wherein we placed sensors at the cantilever pier cap, wherein its most critical aspect is to place the heavy 900 tons uh, load of uh, transfer, uh, what you call it, the uh, launching girder uh, while construction sequence. So the main problem was whether when to load the transfer girders. According to the specs, current specs, you cannot load it before 21 days and 20, 28 days, that is full maturation, ma maturity of the concrete, placed concrete in the field. So we tried to uh, investigate whether we can save this uh, time. We could make it 21 days or even 20 days or even one day to expedite the construction cycle. So what we found is surprising. So we monitored about five to six peers. Next, please. And we could see that the confinement effect and mass enthalpy effects were observed, mass concrete effects observed in the peer cap as well. Uh, showing diff uh, higher temperatures and temperature differentials. And that will uh, manifested by observation of the thermal cracks at the top of the pier and around the pier. Next, please. Uh, most importantly, we could uh, get uh, strength continuously uh, with time every minute. Next, uh, at various locations, we could get the stiffness of the pier cap directly. Most importantly, this is a table where that we got. What we observed that concrete at different age, if you consider, it can develop compressive strength and its Young's modulus very fast. Within the three to seven days, compressive strength and Young's modulus is reached up to 91 to 80 percent, 90 percent level of its full maturity, that is at 20 days level. However, the creep modulus, which is really unknown to many structural engineers and practitioners, creep modulus plays a vital role in our provisions in IS-456, how that 21 days and 28 days for stiffness critical, deflection critical structures for de-shuttering and loading have appeared. It is not due to strength, it is not due to stiffness, it is based on governed by the development of the creep modulus. And this creep modulus surprisingly takes longer time to develop to its full maturity than compressive strength and Young's modulus. So, we found that 96% full uh, of the full maturity of that concrete creep modulus is developed after 21 days. So we concluded that we cannot push or reduce the time to load the cantilever prematurely because creep modulus takes more time. So this is a very fundamental uh, structural health monitoring aspect we did. This for the safety, and basically. This, this is safety. Is the because, safety we, because we have seen premature failures of cantilevers and cantilever pair caps in metro constructions. Uh, and those were not because of lack of strength or young small, but because of the uh, non aging initial age creep, creep models. So this is something we added to our knowledge, even our knowledge, uh, while doing this testing. Next, please. And uh, Tata projects and uh, the government, that is Mahametro, is going to take this forward seriously. Another aspect of where these maturity methods can be used is to uh, conglomerate, to integrate structural health monitoring aspects or mechanisms with concrete monitoring uh, in terms of its uh, maturity. So once you combine all this, it becomes a holistic QC or uh, in quality 4.0. So these are some planned uh, for Tata projects where we intend to 
combine uh, maturity with structural health monitoring aspects. And most importantly, we are developing now match curing, which is a step ahead of uh, maturity method. And match curing will enable more accurate, more reliable match, uh, maturity method or ma maturity assessments of place concrete. So what is match curing? I'll probably explain later on. But uh, these are the economics tentatively presented. Uh, typically for G plus 10 building, the cost runs uh, for maturity monitoring runs around 26, 25 rupees to 30 rupees per meter cube of place concrete. Next, for uh, recast, it runs at uh, rupees 15 to rupees 20 for uh, per meter cube of concrete. Just a thumb rule based on uh, average conditions. Next, please. Uh, so invariably, direct saving and indirect saving comes out to be around 50 to 100 rupees per meter cube of place concrete by using this technology and such automated uh, severe next technologies in concrete construction. Next, please. So these are the conclusions. Uh, maturity saves 10 to 20 percent of concrete construction time and resources. It is reusable technology, continuous technology, automated technology, uh, less human intervention saves money in the long run, can be uh, applied to any concreting elements, mm -hmm. support structure, superstructure, substructure, or auxiliary. And it can be used to optimize and bring confidence mm -hmm. and reduce fear factor in concrete construction. Best is it is sustainable because we are not just doing the demolition of or destructing. Right. Destructive testing is avoided completely. At least 50% of it is avoided. Correct. A lot right. of unnecessary cubes are being avoided testings. This is, this our, is team. our team. We are open to questions. Uh, yeah, thank you are. for listening. Appreciate it. So, thank you, sir. It was a wonderful presentation. And uh, I would request all the participants to uh, just unmute and ask your questions one by one, please. Uh, can I, uh, can I start off? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Please. This is yeah. very, very good evening to all. And yeah, thank you for uh, yeah, thank you so very much for the informative in, uh, presentation, sir. And yes. we were hearing actually these kind of maturity meters from abroad, foreign yes. technology. But it's good to know that yes, now it's available here too. Yes. And yes. It, the presentation India. was really informative. Now I just want to know one thing, sir. Like if we. Yes. Uh, between the mix and the maturity meter, if we have, you know, make that compatibility in summer and we are doing the concreting in winters, mm -hmm. then how the compatibility will be, you know, or the readings will be done? Yes, yes. Will... For this, we have a very good latest uh, recommendations and guidelines from the government of Hong Kong where yeah. they have published these rules as to when you will require a recalibration of a particular mix. Okay. And it depends on not only so many logistical points, that is sources of materials, changes in construct uh, uh, production, uh, seasonal variations, climatic conditions, uh, team changes, all these aspects. Yeah, there, are, can be, there can be a lot of uh, factors lot of to which mix can mix will be changed so, or yes, yes. Weather, so we call it variability so yeah. variability in concrete uh, batch or concrete mix entails yeah. uh, recalibration but when is to be done so the hong kong government did a lot of this testing and they came up with a provision that you can do the recalibration whether whichever is the cause of that uh, change in the calibration uh, of a particular mix, you can do the uh, calib recalibration only when your deviations are more than your standard uh, deviation. Your no, like changes. like between we have done in summers and then the you know, the temperature is now in winters. Correct, correct. Winter, the low. So, yes. So due yes. to temp yes. temperature difference, there can be a difference yes. in the of course, of course. Also. So it's a standard practice uh, in uh, developed countries to establish, pre-establish for a given mix. Uh, how much time does curves, it take? How much time does it take? It uh, depends on your voice of client. When, uh, how, what are the regimes of your uh, monitoring? If it is one day for typical tunnel form work or uh, precast application, the calibration takes one day. Okay. Okay. If okay. It is mass okay. concreting, okay. it typically takes about okay. thirty days. Okay. Correct. On the voice of client, basically. Okay. So you can pre-plan all this. And uh, traditional techniques are, or rather, uh, practices are that uh, it is required to calibrate every season 
So typical season, summer, winter, and rainy That's season right. can have okay. three okay. different calibrations. Okay. Okay. Thank you so very much. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate. It. Thank. You. Next. Next question, please. Uh, 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 Mr. Singh, I think there are some questions on chat box also or question answer. Yeah, you yeah, you, you can, can read that. I cannot see the from here. Himan sir, can you read that chat box? Yeah, yes, I am looking at the chat box. Let me try to grasp all the questions. Uh, let's see one by one uh, where it starts. The first question, let me see. Uh, yeah, the first. Shall I stop is, sharing the? Shall I stop sharing the? This? No, no, uh, it's okay, sir. It's okay. You can okay. keep the okay. slide okay. Okay. Uh, because we may need to uh, revert back. Go back to, to the something. slide. Okay. Yes. So, uh, engineer Muhammad uh, Junaid has this question: Can we gain thermal mapping images of the concrete element with the results on mobile? So uh, you could get this 2D images of thermal uh, monitoring, uh, in, especially in thermal critical or temperature critical concreting works such as mass concrete or confined concretes, even if they are thin concrete elements. You can get it automatically, real time, every minute on your mo mobile phone using this technology. This is one of the most advantages of this system. However, the topographic images, that is three-dimensional three uh, images, uh, analytical images cannot be obtained at this moment in this current state of technology. But we can develop this system to accom accommodate that as well in future. Thanks for your uh, very important question. I hope I have addressed it. Next is. Yes, sir. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is, uh, can we get the same presentation oh, to recall? Review? Yes, we can share this presentation. Uh, we'll do that. Next question is Sagar Jotani. Can maturity meter can be feasible for use in dry concrete, zero slump concrete? Of course. I have explained to you this concrete meter should not be called concrete because this maturity meter can be is a calorimeter. So it can be used in any material compound element which exhibits endothermic or exothermic reactions. Means it absorbs either absorbs energy or releases energy during its formation. For example, concrete is an exothermic uh, material. You can use it in dry or wet at different levels of concreting. Second, you can use it in mortar, cement, uh, grouts. You can use it in paints, varnishes, bitumen mix, asphaltic mix to characterize and monitor all these types of, even in pharmaceutical companies for monitoring their compounds, uh, proprietary compounds, characterize. Uh, here, 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 here we are this. confined to concrete. So let's yes, con here we are confined to concrete. concrete. So here you can monitor all kinds of concrete that exhibits exothermic reactions. So I'm sure your concrete, whether it is geopolymer concrete or uh, cementitious based concrete or self-healing concrete, bacterial concrete or CO2 infused concrete, all these can be captured very easily. Even the grouts, uh, Even in grouts, the grouts you, know, you can also use this for the manufacturing Identities. also grout Correct. to see that the there is a proper consistency of mixes there in the grout. Exactly. And even when you are doing the grouting, you know, you come to know that yes, it's not strength. Okay, now you can put in, in the, you go to the next step, especially you also save on the methodologies, you know. You can you can optimize your especially the curing regime, correct? Which is very important. Curing regime, especially uh, especially in the cold area where you have to do the steam curing, mm -hmm. optimization of steam. Uh, in turn, it it uh, creates a right. lot of uh, at least you don't uh, overdo the things. Sometimes it so happens that people overdo curing also the uh, steam curing. Which is also detrimental for the concrete. Correct, because so, it costs around rupees three hundred to four hundred for per hour for steam curing, typically. So, so that's so, a good saving. Right? Yeah. And secondly, I would like to say that Ultratech currently are using our meters for characterizing their grouts, uh, cementitious mm -hmm. grouts. Uh, so I hope I have answered the question. I'll move to the next one. Uh, yeah. Sanjit Agarwal ha has this question: What is relation between temperature and strength? Is there any formula? So I'll answer this in two stages. 
the relation there is no relation between temperature and strength as such but there is a relation between temperature time and strength when you com combine together temperature and time as a product it is energy of the concrete not just temperature so this meter monitors the energy of the concrete by multiplying temperature and time so there are various formulas that uh, calculates the energy of the concrete in terms of its time and temperature performance and correlates it to, to strength so there are multiple formulas i know about 20 formulas or methodologies put forward and still new ones are coming in but what are adopted in the code are only two methods one is the ttf method and one is the equivalent age method and ttf method is one of the most popularly used also used in our meters so i think i hope uh, I, I have addressed this question second question next question is click three no i don't know can this meter detect bleeding segregation of the freshly mixed concrete can we use it in RMC during production of concrete? So I'll answer it in two stages. First, can you use it to real-time monitor the stability of the concrete in terms of bleeding and segregation? Indirectly, yes. By checking the difference between a normal concrete temperature and time profile, just like a ECG of your heart, and with an unstable concrete where there might be cases where you get bleeding, manifestation of bleeding, slash setting uh, no, non-setting or even uh, segregation however it is to be remembered that this is a point monitoring so if you place the sensor in a particular region only that region can be monitored representative therefore i will say it this meters cannot be reliably used to monitor segregation and bleeding however they will indicate instability in your mix at the green stage uh, and then you can intervene at that uh, point once the, you understand that something is wrong with your concrete. This has happened in many cases in our day to day practices, and it has proven to be a very beneficial aspect. Mind you, there are limitations of maturity methods. The first limitation is same, 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 same limitation is there even for the cube also. Yes. See, see yes. if, if, if yeah, the, it has bleeded. Or if uh, you are not uh, using the proper, what you call the Apparently mix, so right. it will immediately sense and tell you that, yes, this mix is not proper. Then it right. also gives you an indication that the engineer must go and see what is happening there. Right. So, so, it, uh, so, so, so that he can take the corrective action. Correct. So standard not, competing not, not that uh, somebody has poured something and then he will come to know only after seven days when the strength is coming, it is low strength or whatever it is. He will immediately come to know that this is the place where some problem has arisen. So the next point is the person there is uh, alarmed and uh, he should come and see that he has there what what wrong he, is happening at the site. He can right. he can touch base with a quality person and see that it is the anything which is going wrong is corrected correct so i would conclude for this question one part first part is that you can use it uh, indirectly and uh, with practice and judgment the next part of this question was can you use it for rmc yes of course you can use it very effectively in rmc production day-to-day uh, -day production for various uh, aspects uh, reduction in cube test optimization of mix checking the batch variations on the go to give the client more reliability and confidence in your product delivered product in Next fact is, in fact all, all rncs uh, are having the qc lab there and in my opinion all qc lab must have one meter with them so that they can day to day when they are testing the things even the cement which they are coming they can also test that so everything so everything can be tested in this thank you Ram Anuj is requesting SOP on the maturity method. I would request Ram to contact us. Uh, we'll be happy to provide you the SOP and the codes, related codes. Next question is, OK, thank you for the wonderful presentation. Next one is, what is the calibration time of the instrument? And second is, uh, real time strength can be obtained for how many days? Very good. This is uh, Mr. Govatham, one. Gautam. 
Gautam, sorry, I am not able to. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The first part is what is the calibration time for the instrument? As I told you before, depending on the voice of client, what you want to monitor, how long you want to monitor. For example, precast, tunnel construction, you, you may require it only for 12 hours calibration or only monitoring 12 hours or one day. Uh, second, uh, uh, for mass concreting on yeah, the typical yeah. RCG constrictions, uh, maybe seven days, three days will be enough. Uh, second uh, part of this question. Sorry, to interrupt. Sorry, to, sorry to interrupt. Sure. Uh, sure. The thing is that uh, it is uh, same as like of uh, temperature control unit. We are using sensors for control monitoring the temperatures in the MOS concrete, right? Yes. The instrument is similar. Similar. Yes. Correct. Yes. 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 Uh, I need to know that uh, it can be placed in the MOS concrete and strength can be obtained from the instrument for how many yes. days? Either if yes. I need to keep, uh, if I need to know about 20 days strength means either I need to keep the instrument in the same location for 20 Correct. days. Correct. You have okay. to maintain the sensor in touch with the concrete for the time you want to monitor. The other aspect of this technology is you cannot so use contact contact is required. Continuous, continuous contact, contact, contact or embedment of sensor is required. Okay. Okay, because it is re re measuring the energy of the concrete. Okay. okay. Now, secondly, okay. the other part is. You cannot use this method, maturity method, for already old concrete. Okay. One year Freshly old, three year old, because already the concrete. hydration has occurred. Okay. You have to rely on other NDT methods or other methods. Okay. That's okay. the limitation. I hope I have addressed the question. Yes. And one more thing uh, for yes. NDT, uh, there is a deviation. Like Correct. for if you are going with three bond hammer, only 85% of the results can be achieved. It is okay. a general consideration. Is there any limit like that? Yes, I have presented the exact, the exact uh, answers will, we will get. Uh, sir, can you go to the reliability table? Um, I don't know the slide number. But in short, I'll tell you for everybody to knowledge, whatever method we are using to assess, measure the strength of concrete, whether it is in lab or in C2, by any method, destructive, non-destructive, semi-destructive, or load testing, what we are getting oh, actually yes, is a relative strength. Please remember. There is no method in the world that gives you absolute strength. Please remember this fundamental aspect. It's all relative strength. And also with cube test or any other method, we are getting relative strength. That is the first aspect related to reliability. So reliability is accounted for or measured based on the variations or variability. Variability can be measured by using various statistical norms or parameters. So can you go down? all the way if, uh, let me say or uh, go down down more down uh, yeah, let me tell you the table let me point out to the reliability and bias table given by aci code as well as uh, various codes so invariably there will be uh, variations these this variations one? differ no the next one please sir yeah this one see this is the reliability table given by aci 228 for different entities you can see rebound hammer, pull out test, break off, penetration resistance, pulse, maturity, cast in place cylinder, and so on. You can see accuracy. The high, higher accuracy is indicated by maturity, pulse velocity, and cast in place cylinder. Lower uh, confidence or accuracy is given by rebound hammer. So, rebound hammer is. Uh, problematic it only gives you indication of indirect strength or relative strength and that too with large variation so you have to be careful so that's why uh, code says that do do not use only one entity use at least two entities or use cast in place specimens to uh, uh, to assure the results by any entity even when you want to use maturity method always practice uh, uh, some use cast some cast in place specimens to make sure that your maturity method is giving you reliable results because there might be problems or issues or errors in calibration or any other aspect that would result in inaccuracies in the results of maturity so that's why the code no, has we, recommended no we that. cannot avoid 100 percent removal of this but Correct. intermediate testing like like one day two day three day or seven days testings which we normally do right. that can uh, which which are being used by the engineers to take decisions those mm -hmm. things can be taken by this and 28 days can be tested 
so that uh, there is a complete uh, what you call confidence by by the cube test so at least you avoid 50 percent of the cube testings which right. we claim now hmm. okay sir. so when we are discussing bit of variability these uh, statistical parameters are given by various codes aci astm rylm uh, then various other codes like uh, hong kong code japanese code you'll find these uh, indications based on the quality levels uh, our meters or typical maturity meters can have high resolution in measurements that is list count high accuracy owing to the electronics and the measuring range so Concluding uh, of your uh, question's answer is the uh, uh, maturity method gives you more reliability and confidence than other non destructive and destructive methods. That's okay, in the conclusion. Yes, thank you. And uh, I have one more suggestion, not suggestion, yes. like uh, I need some videographs or insight uh, training can be provided from your site so that we can of get course. some better knowledge. And then uh, I feel I'm, uh, I'm working as a quality manager in um, some in one of the reputed organization. So I need to get the approval from the management for the same. Certain. Uh, yes. I uh, believe so our it, team would be glad to do that. It's our basic duty. We are yes. not just a manufacturer and seller of this technology or inventor of this technology. Our, I'm a professor by occupation. And this technology has been developed and produced and students. So this our main function is to make people aware and to teach them, train them, make them aware, provide the knowledge transfer. So that is our primary function. And we'll be very glad to provide your team uh, uh, the uh, inputs for to adoption of this technology for your advantage. Please contact us. Uh, so uh, I, I think I, mr I, singh can give our contact to everyone so that uh, uh, yes, they can contact sir. yeah yes if it is possible that will be great oh, sure you can uh, contact us on our uh, uh, cell um, whatsapp or uh, <laughs> your, our email id so we will be happy to share the contacts of sure can company. you can share the contact number and um, uh, yeah uh, i'll share sure. sir your presentation is complete so i'll yes, share the yes please so uh, I will, I will, sir, I will, one more one last thing yes. please one last yes. thing how much is the possibility of damage during construction practices like uh, placing or uh, you know compaction certainly, and, uh, certainly. Very, very practical uh, question for the past 12 years we have seen uh, uh, we have used different kinds of our products in practice Okay. What we have found is now our current technology is most rugged, more rugged and uh, reusable by for even the foreign competitors uh, from Germany, from UK, Canada, US. Our meters can be used 100 to 150 times without much damage and wear and tear. With normal wear and tear, if I show you the photographs of two-year-old uh, meters used in uh, CEDO project by LNT, you'll be surprised at their tear. But the meters are being functional and use usable even the sensors are rugged because they are made semi military grade ip68 rating which is the highest in among the all maturity meters okay. around the world so they are very reliable uh, we have made because it we, reliable we have we in india we are uh, you know used to of doing compaction at a single point for uh, you know longer right. time longer time yes so, so all these aspects yeah, have so been they're... considered <laughs> however so they are not full group yeah, uh, we have to take certain care. But, but do we do we come to know the damage immediately? Yes. Uh, yes, because it's a real time performance. Uh, you'll get every okay. minute readings. If something happens, if something stops, doesn't work, you get to know immediately. You can take interventions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, Good my screen is visible. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Not sir, is my screen visible? Yes, please. Yes. yes. So yes. this is the website, sir. If I am correct. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. This is the website, so you can all contact uh, on. Yes. These are the my contacts. email address is here hvdhund at gmail dot com. Also, my phone number triple seven four zero five eight nine two seven is there. We are based in Pune, Maharashtra. 
uh, most welcome our company email also is there cprobe cmm at gmail.com but uh, it is available all over india things or services are available or all over and we export india. as well so if you have projects abroad we are happy to provide them because we are a startup government recognized startup award winning startup uh, also Great. we have uh, uh, certificates of uh, import and export license and everything so we are equipped with that may i take the next yes, question sir. So, is there any more questions? In the so text I'll, box, I'll there are a few. Play a small video, sir. I'll yes. just play a small video, Please. which is about concrete engineers. Someone was asking. So, concrete engineers is a, a group of uh, civil engineers like you all. So, we started this group in 2018, and it is now a uh, NGO registered NGO for, with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs under Section 8 and uh, we uh, run these kind of uh, initiatives like this tech talk webinar and uh, also uh, we uh, celebrate some seminars and all we celebrate engineers day and some awards also are being given by concrete engineers so uh, recently we had celebrated uh, engineers day on 15th september in new delhi so a small video i would like to play it for two minutes so please क्या <laughs> so with this i welcome you all to be a part of uh, concrete engineers as we are opening the membership drive we will be uh, uh, soon we'll be sharing a google drive link where you can uh, register yourself to be a member so thank you sir thanks for today's uh, presentation thank you very much yes thank you thank you so much all so and uh, i have one for a concrete engineer team yeah yeah please please uh, uh, please arrange one seminar regarding the awards which can be applied for the civil engineers sure so this sure, is my, like uh, uh, most of the civil engineers are not our like uh, in many departments there are different kind of awards can be applied from my ourselves itself even from safety or from quality or yeah. from the construction or from the execution or from planning so we are all not aware about that. Yeah. If, uh, if, yeah. if it is possible to arrange a seminar, that will be more useful for us. Yeah, sure, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Uh, regarding the awards, actually, you are telling a yes, seminar yes. regarding the awards. Yes. Yeah, sure, sure. We'll, we'll just and uh, uh, kindly share the form, uh, Google Drive form, to become a member of Congress Engineers Association. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, uh, you can just. Uh, reach us at our email id admin sure. at the rate concrete engineers dot org admin, admin at the rate 
concreteengineers.org that's our email address and okay. linkedin also concrete engineers association uh, okay. where you can write us so we will add you to the group and we'll just share the that uh, sure sure, sure. Like that. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, you can also this all uh, tech talks we are recording and th these all are published at uh, youtube which is concrete engineers association on youtube also you can watch these videos we, you can share to uh, the other concerned people also so that's how we are working sure thank you uh, yeah, you can connect us uh, through email or linkedin we'll respond we'll keep you in that group and uh, we can just uh, have a chit chat over that we can discuss sure sure i will connect sure all right thank you sir uh, thank you very much suresh sir and thank you uh, Monday, sir, thank, thank you. It was a great you, presentation, sir, and it is the need of the hour actually uh, because yes, it the is. technologies are uh, actually advancing day by day, and we have to go long miles actually in uh, terms of infrastructure development. And as our government is also giving emphasis on Atman Nirbhar Bharat, so you are a perfect example. The technology which is uh, foreign based technology you are making it available here in india so what best example can be there for atma nirbhar bharat so th that we have to promote we i urge all the engineers to promote the technologies which are make in india and uh, because we our uh, day, uh, yesterday i was attending an event it was an international event by an international organization but uh, the experts were highly the the foreign experts who were there they were highly impressed by the knowledge by the questions uh, how well in indian industry is responding to new technologies and all they all were uh, delighted actually so we have to promote ourselves and we have to make india better yeah thank, thank you. you sir with that note thank i'll you very much. thank you sir thank you thank you namaskar thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.